Okay, so this is a drilling rig. Basically, it's, a, it's, it's an engine which rotates a, a, a core string or a drill string, which then grinds its way through the rock. And uh, as you get deeper, you have to add additional drill or core rods so you can go down and down the hole. Uh, and very shortly, we should see the, the core as it comes out of the ground. My name is Hugh Barron. I work for the British Geological Survey. I'm based at the Lyle Centre in Edinburgh, and I'm part of the team here getting this project off the ground. Right, so this is the inner core barrel coming out now. What they'll do is they, there's a, a, core, uh, a core catching device on the end. They're going to unscrew that, and then they'll pull the inner sleeve out, which we'll see very shortly. Right, it's mostly covering. Okay, so here we have a piece of rock from the bottom of the hole, a bit of coal. So that's a coal from about 145 metres below our feet here. Uh, the coal that once powered the Industrial Revolution of Scotland and the UK. The only coal that's been mined around here. And hopefully we'll transition this dead industry into something really new and exciting to recover um, heat from under the ground. My name is Professor Zoe Shipton. I'm Professor of Geological Engineering at the University of Strathclyde and I'm Chair of the Science Advisory Group of the UK Geoenergy Observatories. The UK Geoenergy Observatories project is really about looking at the, the underground and it's part of, part of looking at how we decarbonise the, the energy system in, in the UK. It's a, a really exciting, possibly even a world first attempt with sets of boreholes over a very long period of time to look at how rocks are changing. The Glasgow site is looking at uh, low temperature, shallow geothermal energy. The mines have basically flooded with water after the pumps have stopped and they've stopped mining. That water is pretty much a constant temperature all the year round and we can use ground source heat pumps to recover heat. The research that needs to be done is how can we get that heat out in an efficient way in a sustainable way, meaning we're not mining the heat, we don't take it out so fast that it becomes unusable after a few years, but we also need to be able to do that safely, cleanly, with the, the least amount of impact on local people and local communities. The samples that, that are being collected at these sites will be a resource for scientists and engineers to crack some of these really difficult questions about de-risking the future use of the subsurface for energy. Okay, so this is what it's all about. This is some core recovered from the, the borehole that's about 130 metres deep. And it consists of an alternating sequence of sandstone, mudstone, siltstone and coal. All of it will go down to our headquarters to go through various uh, tests and, and uh, been logged. So it gives us a complete representative sequence through the sequence of carboniferous rock. This is the first of 12 boreholes to be, to be drilled into the east end of Glasgow. And um, to collect detail, uh, data in that detail is, is almost unprecedented. We're about 150 metres down at the moment, so we're nearly three quarters of the way through drilling. It's just fantastic to get going on it and actually seeing rock come out of the ground.